Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to make a quick demo of how to take UK school data and transform that into an interactive map within Excel. Now this is quite important to me at the moment because uh, my child is uh, heading towards secondary school uh, next winter uh, and I was getting frustrated with uh, not being able to kind of visualize the schools that were available to me on an interactive map and, and check out what catchments I might be uh, within. So um, I'll show you that now. Okay, so here's gov.uk where we can download that school data from. Really easy, uh, just select the year you want uh, and the local authority. So I'm Northamptonshire uh, here. And then I just took the school information. There's lots of other information on here, but I just took the school information to start with. Now I'll put the links to this in the description uh, for you guys too. Here's the school's data that we downloaded, opened up in Excel. Um, I've done some filtering on it to filter them out to primary and secondary, and then created new sheets from those. So you can see those here. Here's the primary one and, and all the secondaries. And they're very simply, I've geocoded this uh, data by postcode. Now, if you don't know what that is, you can check out our other video series on that to see how to geocode. Um, so we can create an interactive map, but I'm not going to go through that here. Uh, as I say, there are some other videos that you can use to uh, to check out how to do that. Um, so then if we open up our map here, we can see, I'll just open it up a little wider, the primary and secondary schools on our interactive map. Now the primary ones are the ones in kind of pink here, and the secondary ones are in blue. Uh, we can turn those on and off. We only want to see the, um, the primary, for example. Well, if you only wanted to see the secondary, we can do that. Um, then I went in ahead and, and published those maps um, so I could share them um, through the blog post and, and with some friends. Um, I did that simply by going to the publish section up here and uh, publishing the maps uh, independently, secondary and primary. Um, so we can see those here. Here's my primary and secondary one, and I can open those straight up into my browser. So here's the, the map we just created and shared. Um, now, what was important for me was the ability to a, visualize this, this data and click on the points and, and see uh, where these schools are in relation to maybe my work journey or, or whatever else, but uh, also to be able to click a location using the draw tool and see if where I lived fell within the catchment criteria for any of these schools so that will be different um, depending on the schools and the uh, where you live and the local authority but let's say it's 1.5 kilometers or you know a, a mile and uh, click that and immediately we can see okay so potentially uh, these three schools here we may well fall in catchment for helping our, our, our case for our child's go to those schools so that was really what I wanted to get to quickly. Um, hopefully that's been helpful to you and obviously you can go ahead and download the app and do this yourselves. Um, but I'm going to create some more uh, videos and share the maps as well, bringing in some of the performance data that's, that's available through uh, gov.uk2 in the future. So thanks for watching. Check out the uh, details below for the links, etc. And I'll catch you next time.